On Friday, September 20th, up to 40,000 activists gathered in San Francisco to demand action from the local and national government on climate change. Spearheaded by Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg's Fridays for Future walkout campaign, these strikes were intended to demand legislative action from the United Nations Climate Change Summit on September 23rd. The youth-led event spanned families, organization leaders, and political groups across socioeconomic lines as the protesters filled Civic Center at 10 in the morning. My wife and I are specifically out here today, besides supporting the youth, is to support our local biodiversity. And our backyard has endangered species close to extinction that we're not even protecting. Can you tell me about the movement that you're part of? Uh, it is called A Thousand Grandmas for a Future Generation. You do not have to be a grandmother. It's just people concerned about the future for their grandchildren, for young people, for our planet, and trying to be involved. Keep it in the ground. Listen to your grandma. Keep it in That's the so ground. Cool. In San Francisco, marchers demanded stricter regulations on fossil fuel companies from California representatives and stronger retaliation against the current EPA's policies. Under the Trump administration, the EPA has announced plans to oppose California's tailpipe measures, which impose restrictions on cars that reduce carbon emissions. Among the crowd were representatives from biodiversity centers, doctors, elder organizations, and a slew of youth holding colorful signs reading, act like your house is on fire, because it is, or respect your mother with an image of the earth. We're a national environmental organization. We focus on protecting people and wildlife all over the country. I work in our climate program, and our climate program is focused primarily on supporting grassroots movements, community efforts to keep fossil fuels in the ground, because we know that's the solution to the direct impacts of pollution today and to the climate crisis going forward. So I, as a relatively young person, have been working with young people across the state to support the strikes today and to bring organizations. There's over 700 groups that we're working with in Last Chance Alliance from around the world that are coming together to call on the governor of California to take immediate action to stop new fossil fuel production, to phase out existing fossil fuel production through a just transition, and to put in place immediate health and safety protections for frontline communities that are affected by the daily impacts of pollution from oil production. I wanted to support all the youth organizers around the world because it is a crisis right now. I'm really happy to be here and like support the, all the leadership happening. and. As you see behind you, our planet is on fire! <laughs> Among the marchers were Pinewood Upper Campus teachers Monica Ventress, Sarah Presswood, Ellie Pajarska, and Sabrina Strand. Ventress's son, first grader Artie Ventress, and Pajarska's children, eighth grader Sava Ilyev and fourth grader Raya Ilyeva also marched along with sophomore Emily Takara and seniors Catherine Chewy, Catherine Hahn, and Sarah Fang. I think that there's not really anything more important in the world right now than tackling climate change. I'm really concerned that the government is not taking it seriously and in fact is rolling back on a lot of the progress that we've made. Um, so I'm striking because I want our government to step up, to rejoin the um, Paris Agreement, to acknowledge the science behind climate change, and to really work toward uh, implementing so solutions. Suddenly to see young people stepping up and coming together and coming up with coherent policy ideas, it's giving me hope in a way that I haven't had in a long time. There's a lot Pima students can do. There's an organization called Citizens Climate Lobby that has a youth branch. Um, we'll probably get a representative to come speak to the Green Coalition, and that's for pushing um, a carbon and dividend act that can lower emissions to pre-1990s level, and so uh, youth can get involved in that and trying to get Congress people to pass that. Being explicit and honest about this with our students and saying like it transcends politics, it transcends philosophy or whatever, it just is. So it makes sense to be all talking about it. Unfortunately, Climate change has become political, so maybe get political. Yeah, but I mean, vote for representatives that will do something about it, and certainly not those that are going to deny there's a problem. The earth is all of our mothers. We're all together on this planet, and we all come from the same place, and we need to respect um, something, a force that's greater than us. Um, it's going to outlive us, and we need to show respect to that.